everybody it's Christine with Coco Daisy and I am finally have my a little late with this I apologize I have my December planner set up to share with you I started it I was on track I was on time and then oh just some life got in the way so but it is done and I've I'm I'm I'd like to wait to start writing in it um, till after I've done the video so I'm really, really itching to get my video done here and show you so that I can actually dig in and start using my planner because I like to show it to you without all of my chicken scratch on it. So um, I am using my um, A5 size ring planner from Vanderspeck. It's this beautiful red. And I think this is the Touch Me Red is the color, what it's called. And one of the things I did for this month, and it's kind of fun because to some extent, um, our December collections will have similar colors. There's always some blues and greens, um, always touches of red. So the, the collection may have different artwork, but a lot of times the color scheme is similar from year to year. So what I did is I really dug through my stash and I found some fun things that I had made previously that I pulled out to use again. And um, I'll point some of those out as we go. There's some things from past kits that I pulled out of my stash as well. And that's one thing that, you know, a lot of people will ask, well, what do you do with your pages when you're done? And the striped pages, because I use these for my memory planning in my daisy planner, I pull these out and I save these um, for reference. Um, any of the other bits like bookmarks or pockets, um, pieces like that, I will save. But when it comes to actually just like these pages or my dailies, honestly, I just throw them away. I don't see, I mean, for me personally, there's no point in keeping my daily to-do list. I just, I end up just tossing tossing them. But um, the other items in here that I've spent some time on and I've created with, um, that stuff I will save and just like for this instance, I was able to go back and pull some of those and use them again. And so I'll store them um, like all of the pockets in one spot, um, dividers in another. I will store the, um, the overlays and the vellum pieces. I'll store those together as well. So that's kind of what I do with my leftovers. So let's dig in here, and I a similar layout that I normally do with my pockets. I have a couple of the um, a couple of the cards that I turned into tags, and then this one is from the pocket cards from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, and this is actually the a pretty um, card that came in your um, Coco Daisy Christmas kit. That was a separate kit. Um, our collections are not overtly holiday or Christmas themed. So we do sell a Christmas kit separately. Um, it's not part of any subscription. I believe we still have just a couple in the store and those we shipped out in, those we had a surprise and we shipped them out in this fun uh, holiday box as well. So, but we do have a couple of those left in the store if you're still interested in those. And I'll try to point out kind of what came from what a little bit so you know. So the flower and the cute little holiday coffee cup and the tree, that's from my stash. Our little Simon with the snowflake. He is from, um, he is from a past Christmas kit as is the cute little scarf. That is from just a past December collection. But the little bow back here, that is from this month's collection. That is from the classified planner. 
I believe. And the silver pen is from last year's December collection. The little sweater weather clip, and that's one of these um, magnetic clips. So you get the little button in the classified planner. That's what that is from. And then I, I added a die cut here. I had this cute little beaded charm I added to the bottom of the clip. And the Dear Santa I tried, that is one of the um, die cuts from the pack that was in, you'll see I used quite a few of these uh, from the Christmas kit. And I added, so the, the main theme are the cute uh, snowmen and the snowflakes. I added just a couple glitter dots in the snowflakes on the cover. And then we did something fun on the inside of the cover. It was, how would you describe the year this year in one word? And I used the little alpha, um, the alpha stickers from the planner add-on. And I did challenging because it has been a challenging year. Um, a few little glitter dots. And then I used one of the little coffee cup or teacup, um, tea mugs, die cuts and put that there. I used the pretty snowflake overlay, and that is from the classified planner. And then we have the stripe pages. So my stripe pages, what I will do is I will write down and record a photograph or a quote or an event that happened that day that I need to remember when I do my memory planning in my daisy planner. And I'm gonna share with you So I just got the first print proof of the 2023 Daisy Planner. And I'm super excited, cannot wait. We had a pre-order for these. They will be going out very soon, so yay. There's a little peek at that. And I also wanted to mention, I will be, um, I created a nice, video tutorial, kind of a flip through tutorial. I talk a, a lot about how I use my Daisy Planner and how I do my memory planning and my memory keeping in it. And uh, so be looking for that video. I'll have that out soon and I'll go through a little bit more of how I plan and how, how I plan for those pages and um, how I do my memory keeping in them and how much I'm enjoying them. So that's coming up, be watching for that. So I used some of the stamping on here for the word December. I printed the, the word photos on here. I just ran these through my printer and added the word photos. Um, and then I added the, the date stickers. I did a little bit of stamping um, from one of the stamp sets. I used the two stamp sets. Actually, there was three. Let me rephrase that. I can grab them here. Nope. There was a stamp set for in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, and the Christmas Kit. That stamping video is also going to be up soon. So lots of videos coming. Those That will be up soon as well or sorry, this one is already up. The December one is, I'm getting all myself confused. The December one is already up. The January one is coming up. But if you want to see how I used the December stamps, you can check that out. That's already on our YouTube channel. But so I used some of the snowflakes on there. I cut out one of the little snowman die cuts. And then on this one, again, just a few of those little snowflakes. And I stamped them in navy instead of black. I thought that was really pretty. One of the things I've done in the past is I've stamped these on the colored pages with white embossing powder and you get that raised effect and they're really pretty that way as well. And I used this cute little, it's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas, <laughs> little quote um, die cut and that is from the Christmas kit. And again, this one is also from the Christmas kit <clears throat> in each one, I stamped that little December over the photos. I liked that. I made you start doing that. And again, just a few of the snowflakes. I thought the artwork was so pretty and the colors on here were so pretty. I didn't need to add a whole lot. 
And I do want to leave um, room for my notes as well. So I did Merry Christmas. And then the, the other little snowman there. And then this one, we have the little snowman right here. And he's got his party hat on because it's Happy New Year. So we have that as well. Now these, I will mention to you, these large letters um, are from a past kit. I don't know which one, but I thought the green matched so well. I pulled these out of my stash um, to use in here as well because there was a couple instances where I wanted to create um, some interest in here with a big title, so I pulled those out. And then the tags, these oversized tags are from the classified memory keeping kit. And I had this die cut, this cute little sweater, and I layered that over the sweater that was already on the uh, tag, just to kind of give it a little dimension. My my um, stack here is, is <laughs> there's a lot of layers in here and I don't mind. I don't mind if it's super bulky, it makes me happy. And then I have my little menu card on there. So I just sandwiched the two tags together and, um, and then attached my little menu card. This pretty overlay is from the classified planner. And then I do my menu planning on these um, weekly spread pages. So what I'll do is I'll, I just use some of the day of the week stickers add menu plan, and then that's where I write down uh, our menu for the week. And then you go into each week, and I love these little, these little tabs. These little tab die cuts are part of the um, planner add-on. And I love, I just stamped, there was one of these had winter days. And I, I put ink on it so that it did not get on the little box. It just was the word. And I just stamped that on every one of them. I just thought it was kind of cute to add that on there. So I added those on there. And it just helps me flip to each, each week. So I like to add some sort of tab there. Sometimes when we have the cute um, tab stickers, the little mirrored images of, of things, I'll put those on there as well. I've done it before where I've used die cut snowflakes. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can make little tabs for these sections. So I stamped some more snowflakes on here. I used one of the, the fun vellum sayings from one of the sticker kits, added my dates, and then again, another one of those cute um, die cuts from the Christmas kit. Some more days of the week for my menu. And then um, some more stamping. I love the, the cute little snowflakes and it adds just enough in here. There's just a little label sticker there. And then in a world of Grinches via Griswold, I thought that was cute. That again, that's from the um, pack in the Christmas kit. And then the cute little hat. And yes, it's my birthday on Wednesday the 7th. And then the 52, these numbers were in a pack of alpha, sorry, number die cuts that were in the Christmas kit. So if you were doing um, any sort of a December daily or a countdown or anything like that, you could use the numbers for that. But I just used them for my birthday. And then days of the week again. And then don't get your tinsel in a tangle. And I added the cute little snowman sticker kind of hiding behind the little die cut. Some more snowflakes, a little stamping, make it a Christmas to remember. And then the 15th is going to be our Coco Daisy um, crew party here at my house. Can't wait. And then I just added some more of the weekly day of the week stickers and then some of the fun little stickers that we had um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then I have Sparkle and Shine, it's Christmas time. So again, these are from the Christmas kit, the most wonderful time of the year. That is from one of the sticker kits. I love those vellum stickers, especially the quotes, they're so pretty. I stamped Merry Christmas there as well. And then I 
did the little candy cane wishes and this and mistletoe kisses put the little label there um happy new year with the cute little um cup again and then the dashboards. So the dashboards, when you get them, you get um, a set of A5 and a set of personal size. So you get both sizes um, and they are each the same um, artwork. So you get a set of six in the A5, you get a set of six in the personal that are, they are the same artwork, but just the different sizes. And I like to use both sizes in my planner. Again, I love all the layers and, and all of that. So I did the hug in a mug, a hug in a mug. Added one of the printables on here with my to-do list. I stamped the December, um, added a couple die cuts and a few of the rub-ons. And then one of the pocket cards on here um, from the pocket um, modern memory keeping kit, the journal cards from there. And again, same thing. Now this is pattern paper. This is not a dashboard, that's the pattern paper. One of the printable sheets with my monthly to do. I added a couple of the little red um, glitter dots for the holly, which I thought was cute. Some of the puffy alphas. And my cute little clay Santa clip, he's from my stash. And then the little snowman. And then I used, I loved the striped, um, the stripe so much. I think it's so pretty. I used part of one from, um, I think it was an extra A5 I had. That was, we get them sometimes as samples or we get some that come a little, um, they don't make the grade. They might be a little beat up or something and those go in the, in the, extras pile and I usually grab them just so I can show you ideas and that's what I did here so if you don't necessarily use all of your stripe pages it's a just think of them as pattern paper think of them as you can put on the back of a dashboard or something else or the cover of something to decorate and use them that way so that's what I did here and I added some of the pretty white glitter stickers and those white glitter stickers were in the um, I believe the Modern Memory Keeping Kit and the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. One or the other or both. I can't remember off the top of my head. And that's just for my list. And then my Christmas menu is what I'm going to use the notes page for. And then my calendar. And I have some die cuts on here. There's a few glitter dots. I did a little bit of stamping. I didn't do a whole lot on here because December is always such a busy month and there's a lot that I need to fill in on the calendar. A um, little um, die cut there. And then one of the, um, this one is from the Bible journaling sticker kit. And then just some of the puffy alphas as well. Your plan forward section. So if you have things coming up that you need to write down, you can put that in there. This is one of the dashboards and I just added the little um, scarf under the E and I didn't put any foam adhesive. I just only adhered it at this part of the scarf and left these and then just kind of bent them up to give that little bit of dimension. One of our tabs and then this one I used the stickers um, from the main planner sticker set that in those fit in there so you can see how they fit in the tab and then I did my stamping so when you get to your daily pages they will come like this it will start with this page up but you're meant to use them as a two-page spread so you see I did start on one page you they're meant to be used as a two-page spread so you can use them like this. this is how it's meant to be so I always will cover up that first page like I did here with the dashboard so then you open up to your page and I had a couple I I thought this was kind of fun I have a set of weekday stamps and I don't recall who they are from if I can figure it out I'll put it down in the comments below but I kind of did both. I stamped the Thursday in the pink, kind of a blush pink, and then the circle 
over top in the red. And I liked that combo. I thought that was fun. So I did that on all of them. And then of course I used our um, tracker stamp set. It's tracker daily header tracker, I think is what it's called. If you go to the Daisy store and you look under stamps, you will find it. But it has all of these great different headers that you can use to, um, to use for each section. There's a bunch of different ones, so you can, it's, and in fact, I think what we should do is maybe make another set that has even more options. So that's maybe something we'll, we'll look into and do. But so I stamped all my pages. So I have everything set up. And that's what I love about our um, daily pages as well, is that you can customize these however you want. Um, you can use this section instead of just as single lines. You can just put a header, ignore the, the squares, and just write and use that as one whole section if you want to. Um, the same for each one. It doesn't matter how you want to. Boxes are there if you want to use them. If you don't, just ignore them. But you can list the headers. And then this is something that I've done for a couple months, and I love it. These sleeves we've gotten in some of the past kits and I like to use them and then add, if we do happen to get another um, pocket sticker in any of the kits, I like to put that on here so I have like two pockets. So because there is always so many lists to make this time of the year, I have some of those in there. And this is actually from the Weeks booklet. I just cut it apart and I just use them as um, to-do list pages. So I have the stripes in there and I just, just cut them apart and use them as sheets like that. The cute little cup is from a past kit. The Tis the Season to Sparkle, that um, this little pocket is from the Christmas kit. And so I added that on there. I haven't tucked anything in there yet. I'm sure I will. And then the December 2022 note card, that is from the pocket, um, from one of the pocket cards from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. In fact, there's two of them here that I sandwiched together. This one I just added a rub on and the little Merry Christmas down there. And then this one I just used the little chipboard quotes from one of the chipboard sets from, it was either the Modern Memory Keeping Kit or the Traveler's Notebook, I don't remember. And then this pocket, now you know I do one of these um, every month, but this one actually, when I was digging through, as I mentioned, and I was, I was looking for things, some things to reuse, and I always like to dig out some of the older pens and clips and stuff like that as well. I found this pocket and I honestly, I don't remember what year this is from, if this is from last year or the year before, but I thought it went, the colors were went really well. They're very close. Um, maybe it was last year because I kind of recognize that art from the roses, but I thought it really went well. And so I just, I'm just reusing it. So rather than cut up any of my uh, pattern paper for another pocket, I just pulled this out and used it. I added, it had this here, but then I added the candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. So I added that little touch of red there. And then it has um, all of my stickers in it. So one thing, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention this in a minute. So I just kind of keep my stickers tucked in there. And then the baby, it's cold outside. I believe that was from the classified planner as was this um, sticky notepad. So it has the cute little um, snowflakes. I just stuck a couple of them on there. So I have them and it doesn't give too much bulk. The rest of them I'll just keep in my little pouch. So there's just a few on there. The I am freezing cold which is like everything I say, I say that all winter long because I always am freezing. <laughs> this oversized tag is again, one of them from the classified memory keeping kit. I just added a few of the blue little glitter dots on there. And then this is one of the cards from, try to remember if that is from one of the, 
a minute. I can probably tell you, I think it's one of the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping cards, I think. Um, so I just cut that down and covered up the other side of the tag. I'll probably add a bow on that. Um, I haven't decided what color, whether I want to do white or red. I think I'll do red if I can find a good red ribbon. I'll probably put a little bow on there. And then I just added the little hat. And then, of course, all of the daily pages. And then another one of the dashboards. And this one says Happy Holidays. So this one I'm actually using as a divider. Um, and you can see where I put the tag up or the tab up here. And then I used again, one of the stickers from the main planner sticker, um, to label that tab. And this section is all Christmas planning. So menus, lists, Christmas lists, all of that stuff. And I have the cute little clip with the little snowman. He is on there. And then I added some of the cute little Christmas tree or the little tree artwork on the back. And then another little card. And then this little envelope, which basically I just took a regular envelope and traced it and cut this out. This is from a number of years ago. And I just updated it by adding these little die cuts. And these were from the Christmas kit as well as is our little Simon holding this super big mistletoe. So he's sure to catch a kiss. <laughs> and I like to keep this in my Christmas section. Um, it's great for adding receipts or holding other notes or anything like that that I need to tuck in here. So I like to have that little envelope in this section. And then this right here, which is from the main planner kit, and this is usually as a set, so you get the acrylic bookmark, which I punched holes in, and then added the large, um, or the, the large sticky note pad to it. And this, again, is for all of those lists that you need to write for, um, for the holidays or just all the busy stuff that's going on. And one of the things I wanted to mention, I mentioned this in the unboxing, but I wanna mention it again. These stickers, which are from the planner add-on kit, are designed to fit on here. So, so you have this, it says, tis the season to be busy. Um, if you are this as a specific list, like let's just say it's your Christmas card list, you can use this on here, it will fit, and it is now the title of your list. So now you know what that list is for. So all of these will fit on these sticky notes. And so it's a fun way to use this and to just, you can label your list and then write out your card list or whatever it may be. We've got stocking stuffers, hostess gifts, um, card list, the Christmas card list, there's a couple of them on there, baking list and so on. So you can use that with that. So I just wanted to point that out. So I've got that in there. And then I took, I took a B6 um, Dory booklet and I took the cover off and then I just kind of counting down. I'm using the, the little vellum dots on here on the front and counting down. And then I am using this um, for all of my gift lists and my menu. So, the, and that's why you can't see them because I don't want anybody to see what's on my Christmas list. So you have the stripe section, you can section this off. Um, I've got an area in here that I have all of my Christmas lists written down for each person. And then I have an area in here where I started um, working out ideas for menus because we host my family's uh, Christmas party on Christmas Eve. And so I need to get the menu figured out for that as well. And then, of course, the Coco Daisy Christmas party. I need to get the menu figured out for that. So that's what I, and I just took this and I literally just punched holes in the entire booklet. I didn't cut it because I want to be able to take this out as a whole booklet and throw it in my purse because, you know, I'm making more notes and highlighting and changing things because when you go shopping, some things you can find, some things you can't, or you see other things. 
um, and then you add them to the list. So I wanna be able to take this booklet with me, but at the same time, I wanna be able to put it in my planner with everything else. So I left it intact, but so you can see that it's intact as a booklet, but I just punched the holes in it so it can go in here as well. So it's kind of a neat little trick. So I have that. And then I have another overlay and then of course uh, more paper papers for more lists. These are the graph papers from, um, if you look in the store in the minimalist collection section, uh, we have graph paper that is A5 size or classic vertical size. You can get either one. You get 25 sheets and it's our great quality paper. So again, you could use these labels for these as well. If you have a lot longer list that you wanna make, you can use those or you can decorate them. You can use them however you want. And I tucked this in here because I don't know if I'm gonna need another section, maybe for my December daily. If I'm sketching ideas or I have ideas, I'm not sure yet, but I tucked that in there just in case. And then I love this vellum. And this was in the Christmas kit. And I don't know if you can see it, it's subtle, but it's such a neat little touch. The little silver, sparkle at the end of some of the bulbs. So it's silver foiling that we added to the end of some of those bulbs. So it's super cute on the vellum. Another one of the dashboards, and I just added some patterned paper. And here's where I used a couple of the smaller dashboards for a subdivided page. Another one here to move pattern paper and this as you can tell it was one of my favorite patterns I don't know why but I love pink and red at Christmas time I just I love that touch of pink at Christmas I don't know why I just do um, the hello winter and then some more of the pattern paper and this is our little pen holder and I don't remember if that was in the main planner kit or if it was in, in the planner add-on. I'm not sure. Um, added that on just a heavy piece of acrylic. So that holds my um, highlighter. We got a blue highlighter and I'll pull that out in a minute um, with the collection. And I have that in here, but then I'm also using a green one. The green one is from my stash. And then our adorable red polka dot pen and that is in the main planner as well and one of the things i wanted to mention so the majority of this collection is completely sold out um thank you all by the way very very much i appreciate it as does all of the coco daisy family um it is a blessing when that happens um we have there are some inserts left. There's a there's some stickers left. I think there is some pattern paper. Uh, today, Heather went through the remaining bits that we had just, we always, there's just always leftover bits and pieces. And anything that we had more than just a couple of, she is going to list in the store. So if you missed out, on this collection or there was something that you wanted more of, like say the rub-ons. So I know some of the rub-ons, some of the alphas, um, those kinds of things we will be able to list and she's gonna have those up. So just look in a day or so. Um, I'm filming this on Monday night. So when I say a day or so, look for right around Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, she will have those up. And so we will have some, any of the little extras that we did have will be listed. So if you missed out and you, you wanted to pick up some of this adorable collection, um, that would be the time to grab it. And we are in the middle of shipping, so we'll get that stuff out right away. I wanted to show you the cute little bag. 
this is our little pouch. Our pouches are separate um, as far as a subscription. Um, and I had this cute little tree charm that it was from a previous collection and I put that on there. And then I just tucked, a, I tucked my extra um, sticky notes and then there was a couple of cards. This is the pen and ink testing card. I tucked that in there. And then the little Hello Winter is from um, one of the cards from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And then our awesome clip. I gotta show you this. This was in the planner add-on, I think. So it's a great magnetic clip. It's great to hold your pages. You saw I used it on um, my booklet that I had in there. So I have an extra one I put in there. I have my washi tape in here. And then I also have this cute pen case. And this was from the main planner kit. And it says a few of my favorite things. And then this is where I have um, a couple of pens from before. So there's a silver and a green and they go really well with the kit as well. And then my blue highlighter. So those are all tucked in there. And I love using these little pen cases because it keeps your Coco Daisy pens safe um, if they're rolling around here in the pouch with other stuff as well. So that is a look at all of the beautiful things that were part of the Frost and Frolic collection, which was our December collection, and a few of the things in there that you saw from our Christmas kits. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, again, I apologize, it's a little late this month, um, but I hope you've gotten some inspiration and some ideas, and I cannot wait myself to dig in. That is what I'm going to do tonight is sit and start writing everything in here and uh, working on my Christmas list. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and a beautiful Happy New Year. Um, wishing you that not just from me, but from my family and from um, my Coco Daisy family as well. Mm -hmm.